morning, Pastor Steve here. Psalm 8, 3 and 4. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him? I love that song by Casting Crowns. Who am I? The Lord of all the earth would care to know my name, would care to feel my hurt. Who am I that the bright morning star would choose to light the way for my ever-wandering heart? It, it really is a wonder when I think of it. He loves us, tiny specks of protein on a tiny planet and a small section of the universe. Mas uh, Lucado said, David worships God as the creator of all things, but praises the eternal strength of God, wisdom, and dominion. But he also understands the wonder that God is interested in him, and hence us. In Psalm 39, David writes, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You have hedged me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, and I cannot attain it. In the last uh, book, we saw that we were made for a high purpose. Uh, looked at Psalm 149.4, For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns his people with the humble with salvation. I get that in a larger sense, but you want to know my problem? I see the rottenness of my past, and sometimes I wonder what God saw in me. I think it was Jerry Bridges in his book about grace where I read this. One mark of a person under grace is to consent to be loved even if you don't feel worth it. Wow, God didn't love me because I'm wonderful. Not at all. Or even good. He loved me because he's God. First John Voss uh, says that our love for him is sourced in his love for us. He sees us as significant. We human beings are the pinnacle of his creation. Our job is to have a balanced view of ourselves. Romans 12, 3 tells us to have that. So I guess old Bob George was right in his book, Clash of Christianity, that he said we uh, are disappointed in ourselves. It's because we believed in ourselves. My insignificance is just something I put on myself. It is a false humility. But my real significance is this from Desiring God, Galatians 2.20. When you say with the Apostle Paul, he loved me and gave himself for me. That's Galatians 2.20. Feel the greatness of the words, he loved me. He loved me and gave himself for me. You still feel insignificant? Then you ponder that.